This year I've spent a few months working in the refugee camp in Calais and from my experience what, uh, what people need the most and, and this applies almost really to, to the children is that the, the children in the camp need the most uh, help and, and support and, uh, and activities for them to do because they're the ones um, whose, whose childhood is kind of being put on hold by their um, experiences in the camp. So anything that's going to help them uh, reconnect with other people, forget about the situation that they're in and give them ideas for a brighter future is going to be really beneficial. When we went to Singapore last year with Morning Glory and we took it there and they had never had a morning glory, they've never kind of had any kind of um, daytime dancing activity and they really kind of embraced it and there was this real sense of like wow we can do this and we can be here and we can sort of act a bit silly and it doesn't and it doesn't matter and it's um we're in this place doing that and that was really you know incredible to to see. A couple of years ago I became kind of very uh, through stress at work, became very depressed and ended up in, in hospital. And Morning Glory has been part of my journey getting back into, into health. Um, so it's been something for, for me to wake up and do. It's been a way of like enhancing my mood in the mornings. But also it's meant that uh, I've met a group of people that I would have never met otherwise. So I've got new friends from Morning Glory and I'm involved in, in other projects through it. So it's been, um, you know, been, been life-changing for me.